Hello, thanks for joining me again. Today's project, what we're going to look at is, and I've got this one already finished, I'm going to make a confession now, I haven't made this one, I've got another one to make, uh, but it's a coffee grinder kit, uh, and we've specifically chosen this kit for its design. Um, primarily a dome shaped one, because A, I think they're more attractive, B, it has a little door, so when the beans are in there, you can shut it off and you can stop any foreign bodies getting in there it's just a little bit neater there are other ones that are very similar that are open at the top i'm just not keen on them so we've gone for this one um, there are also others that we've tried that are very decorative um, and we found that actually they're just not very good at grinding coffee um, these are primarily good coffee grinders as i've said in other videos when we do something primarily it has to work um, and a coffee grinder needs to grind coffee so we've tested a variety and found that that this type is, is the best type um, you will see and i'm not this clever that this one actually has a thread um, and there's the, the the bottom of the grinder um, when you see all the parts um, laid out, and you'll see those at the end of the video, it looks quite complicated, but it's really nowhere near as difficult as it looks. Now, that one's already done. Um, I have got, for which I apologise now, a, a most awful piece uh, of ash. Um, it's the only bit that I can find that's actually big enough to, to, to make this project on, uh, but it will at least show you how... Um, to mount everything get it on the lathe and turn it uh, and hopefully you'll have a much nicer bit of wood than i have it's horribly rough and grainy and it's a bit that i used to uh, i've got left over from making lawnmower rollers um so that gives you an idea what, I, what i've used it for um it's not decorative but as i said it will show you um how to uh, mount uh turn and assemble the kit at the end um, it's quite a fun project you get quite a good finished good size finished product at the end of it um, so we'll grab my hideous piece of wood and we'll crack on so i'm starting with a blank that's 160 mils long this is uh, 110 millimeters by 110 millimeters you can make it slightly smaller the first thing i'm going to do is take 50 millimeters off the top now you can make it narrower but i'm because i've got this big block i'm going to take 50 millimeters off for the top So this section, this part is going to be the inside of our lid. So we're going to get this bit flat and then we're going to cut. So we've got a little overlap, which is going to be the top of the box section. And then we'll look at fitting this. Having cut out the mortise for the bottom grinder, just pop it in there just to make sure it fits what we now need to do is to go all the way through this top now the top of this section is 38 millimeters and it's the top that needs a good fit so i'm going to use a 38 millimeter forstner bit to drill all the way through and then just gradually chamfer the hole um, to take that tapered piece in there So we've now got the inside of our top finished. I've just sanded that off a little bit. I haven't sealed it or anything yet. Um, I'm just going to pop the bottom burr in there. I'm not going to screw it in just yet. Turn it over and just put a little mark around the top so I can see where the top of the burr is actually coming to. So when we shape the top, we'll know what we can do with it with this section. Um, because what it's really good to do is just put a little curve in. So when the coffee beans are actually put in the hopper, they fall through to the burr section. Conveniently, when I take that out, I can remount with the bit we've cut out for the burr on the same jaws. Your jaws might be different, of course, but for me, I can just turn this around and pop it straight back on again. Thank you. 
Now with the hopper section, you can of course just screw it, screw it straight onto the flat bit there. I'm just going to inset it a little bit. I've actually made that slightly too big, so I'm just going to flatten off this uh, and recut it just a fraction smaller so we get a good fit. And I don't know how deep that is. Um, let's have a quick measure and we'll just check it. It's about three millimetres. Um, so I'll try and just do a three millimetre mortise in the top here just to house that neatly. So I've put my little cut in there, I'm quite happy with the fit on that, I can now look at shaping uh, the, the top section. This is way bigger than it needs to be so I'm, I'm hoping I can get a little bit of shape or something into here, um, sand and finish it and then we're ready to attach um, the bottom burr and if we want the rest of the mechanism. And now is the time when I would put some, or I'm going to put some food grade uh, sealer, food safe sealer in this hole here and around this section here. I don't need to worry about the outside, that's not in contact with um, any coffee beans or any other food so I can put whatever finish I like on there uh, but on the inside I'll put a food safe finish. So having hollowed out the inside, um, which I've done, um, you can now use the top and you don't want a tight fit on this, the lid should pull off easily, um, you don't want to have to fight with this. I'm going to put the lid on there, bring up the tail stock um, to hold that in place and we're actually going to shape these two bits together, just making sure I don't turn too much out of this top piece. So having put the two bits together and sanded and I've roughly finished this one, I'm not spending a lot of time because the wood's not particularly nice, uh, I can now remove the top, I can finish the inside, um, sand that down and finish that off with food grade um, finish in there. Um, and sand and fit all these um, parts in here. Um, I'm not going to do that on the video because this isn't what it's about. I am now going to show you the assembly of the grinder on the top. We now come to the bit where we're going to assemble everything in our lid here um, and of course I'm going to talk to you about pilot holes again. Uh, all the bits we've got here um, and the most important thing to remember when making this is when you're actually making the wooden part you can forget all that stuff except that. That is the only bit that you need to fit in there and we're going to start with that, pop that in there um, I'm going to mark three little holes, in fact I might even just drill straight out um, into here the three pilot holes for the screws. Um, I recommend anyone that measures the screws, I'll measure these, they could be different on the kit that you get because specs do change. If I can just find the calipers, I think they're probably about three mils but we'll just double check. They're actually two mils, so I need about a one and a half millimetre pilot hole for these screws. They're not very really big at all. Um, so I've got my three pilot holes in there. I've got the correct screwdriver, which is a Phillips head one, PH1 screwdriver. And I'm going to secure the bottom burr into the top of the grinder box. That's the first bit done. The next bit is to turn it over and we're going to fit the hopper cover. Now I've put a, um, a little cutout here, a little um, mortise 
cut on the top so mine is going to locate centrally if you're just screwing this straight on the top it's worth just installing the inner burr and the shaft first to make sure that you don't offset that because if you get that wonky it won't grind properly the shaft needs to be directly um, upright um, so the next thing I'm going to do is just quickly mark on the top here where my pilot holes are going to go I shall drill those and then we'll secure the top part in as well. So having drilled my pilot holes I can line those up and secure the hopper. That is nice and secure. Please note with a proper pilot hole I haven't had any broken screws. I haven't stripped the heads out either. The next part to assemble is the inner burr, the bean agitator and the shaft. Now I'll show you the shaft because the shaft is not the same at both ends. I don't know whether the camera will quite pick that up, hopefully it will. There's one end that's got just a normal round thread and the other end that's got a thread but um, the top bit's been flattened off. This is the top and this is the bottom and it's this bit that the inner burr connects to. So what I'm going to do is put the bean agitator on with the points pointing upwards if you can see that and I then screw on the inner burr like so. That will then now feed up through the top through the bottom burr. You can sit that back on the table, it will drop through slightly um, it then has the washer, there is only one washer on the top there. It then has the adjuster screw which drops over and this screws on. Let's get it the right way up. There we go. One side's slightly curved over, the other side's flat. It doesn't, it doesn't make that much difference to be, to be perfectly honest. That screws on and that is the adjuster and that will... just a little bit stiff that will pull up the inner grinder and adjusts the grinds up and down so you can finally adjust it once your grind adjuster is on you can then drop on the grind locking section on there then the handle goes on top and then finally the top knob goes on there like so and that is now ready to turn and we can pop that on our pot and there we have one coffee grinder. So there we have our finished uh, coffee grinder. This is quite big, you don't have to make it this big. I can only apologise for this wood, it is pretty horrible. Um, but the purpose of this video as always is to show you the kit and how to assemble it. Um, hopefully you can see there, that's the handle you turn on the top, there's a little door inside there for the coffee beans to go inside and that little curve we put in there earlier helps the beans just fall into the hopper there into the grinder section so you can grind it and um, there's the two sections there and there's the underneath there that we can see um, really it's not that difficult the most critical thing um, to do is to make sure that you've got this distance at the top right uh, and there are instructions on the website that you can download and print off um, if you don't want to download them and print them off I do occasionally get people say oh I can't get any signal in the um, workshop where I am I can't watch the video no but you can get a bit of paper and a pen and make a few notes um, but they are there to download and print off if you want to um, as always thanks very much for joining me again um, we look forward to seeing you at the next video thanks for watching please go and have a look around the website um, and see the kit and lots of other ones and we'll see you soon bye bye for now take care